So receiving and giving, obviously a major theme of this whole process and really the whole, the whole process in the whole book is about this. So I just want to define here what I mean by that. One of the difficulties in, in using the words receive and give is that they mean two very different things that sometimes occur together and sometimes do not. And so that's why it's easy to confuse them. So the word receive, for example, one meaning is that something is moving towards us, happening to us, or being delivered to us. It's just coming towards us. So we receive a pass to the 20-yard line. We receive a package in the mail. We receive a birthday present. We receive a guest. But the difficulty is it doesn't describe whether we actually want that thing. We can receive a caress. We can also receive a blow to the head. We can receive a winning lottery ticket. We can receive a traffic ticket. We can receive a compliment. We can receive an insult. So this use of the word doesn't refer to whether we want it or whether it's a gift for us. It just refers to the fact that it's moving towards us or it's happening to us. So that's one definition of receive. So one of the things that I can receive is a gift, in which case it is something that I want. It is something uh, that's for me. But when you look at the possibilities of the different kinds of gifts that I might receive from you, some of them are things that come my way and are done to me. Others might be things that you allow me to do that I want to do. So the gift is coming this way, but the action is going that way. So in this meaning of word receive, it means something's happening to me whether I like it or not. This other definition of receive means it's for me, but I'm the one that might be taking the action, or maybe you're taking the actions. It doesn't indicate action. It indicates that it's for me. So now you have these two meanings of the word receive. Sometimes they happen at the same time. Sometimes they do not. And it's conversely, it's the same thing true with the word give. I can give you, I can give meaning I'm doing something to you, whether you like it or not. Or I can give you a gift of doing something or letting you do something that you want to do. Just as much a gift. In situations involving touch, these two things get very mixed up. And we're going to be playing with that. And it's all going to become very clear and very freeing. But for now, know that when I say the word receive and give, what I'm talking about is not who's doing what I'm talking about is who it's for. It's either a gift for me that you're giving me or it's a gift for you that I'm giving you. And it turns out that taking those two apart, receiving and giving apart, so that you can really tell which one you're in and you're doing one at a time, opens up a completely different experience than is possible if you can't really tell who it's for or you're trying to do both at once. So this practice is essentially a practice in taking, receiving, and giving apart so that you actually can experience them. Because until you take them apart, you're not actually doing either of them. You, you haven't found them yet. And each of them have their own particular gifts. Each of them meet our needs in a different way. Each of them feed us in a different way. Each of them are pleasurable in a different way and each of them are vulnerable and challenging in a different way. So this practice is about taking them apart, and it's a lot of fun. It's pretty common that people resist the idea of taking them apart. It doesn't sound romantic. It doesn't sound enlightened or very spiritual. We have this idea that, well, if I'm, it's, that I should be giving and I receive something by giving, and these things all sort of weave together. And, what actually is happening is that receiving in particular is quite vulnerable. And if you want to avoid that vulnerability, all you have to do is mush them all together and then you don't have to feel that vulnerability of, of receiving a gift. Um, and we're going to play with that and we're going to find out how wonderful it is. You'll be falling in love with both of them equally. They're quite wonderful. So that's what this practice is about. And re giving and receiving refer not to the action, 
but they refer to who it's for. So that's the distinction here.